A stable Wi-Fi connection is crucial to a smooth Mac experience. Here are our top tips for how to fix the Wi-Fi on your Mac or MacBook Pro when it stops working. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to fix Wi-Fi on Mac and MacBook Pro 2019. Macs like any computer are vulnerable to losing their Wi-Fi connections. If you have reset your router, found that another devices are connecting to it and your Mac is still refusing to go online, then it's pretty certain that the issue stems from the Mac itself. This video will cover adjusting packet size, resetting the PRAM and SMC, reconfiguring the DNS, changing location and deleting and re-adding the Wi-Fi configuration. Wi-Fi switching off after sleep wake. This one's a common problem for Mac users where the Wi-Fi disconnects when the Mac wakes from sleep. Here's a possible solution. Go to the Apple menu, System Preferences, Network, and then in the left-hand pane, click Wi-Fi, then Advanced in the bottom right-hand corner. On the next screen, select every network in the list using Command plus A, and use the minus icon to remove them all. Back in the main network window, Click the Locations drop-down and add the plus icon and give a new location name of your choice. Click Done to use this location from now on. Finally reconnect your home Wi-Fi network. With a bit of luck it should stop disconnecting upon sleep-wake from now on. Disconnect USB and wireless signal devices. Before moving into the nitty gritty methods of fixing your Mac or Mac Pro's Wi-Fi woes, here's something simple you can try that might just solve everything. Quite a lot of Mac or Mac Pro users have reported that disconnecting certain USB 3 and USB-C devices has solved their problems. So the first thing to try is to disconnect your USB devices one by one and see if the Wi-Fi comes back. Why does this happen? Certain USB devices emit wireless signals that can interfere with the Wi-Fi while devices like USB hubs, especially, have been known to outright disable the Wi-Fi port, sort of like how plugging in an Ethernet cable automatically disables Wi-Fi. So, unplug all your devices, then observe whether your Wi-Fi returns after removing a particular one. Reset the MVRAM, PRAM and SMC. I first started having connections issues while running macOS Sierra's public beta. Of course, start by restarting your Mac to see if this resolves the issue. Otherwise, try to reset the PRAM, Parameter Random Access Memory, or NVRAM, which is Non-Volatile Random Access Memory, and the SMC, System Management Controller. These are the portions of your Mac that control basic operations critical for your basic system function, and they also stay alive when you reboot. PRAM, NVRAM. Press and hold the power button on your Mac to completely shut it off. Hard disks and fans need to stop spinning and the screen needs to go dark. Then power on your Mac. Immediately after you hear the startup sound, press and hold the Command, Option, P and R keys. Keep holding them down until you hear the startup sound again and see the Apple logo. Release the keys and the PRAM, NVRAM will have been reset. SMC this process will vary heavily depending on whether or not your Mac is a desktop or a MacBook and if it has a removable battery or not. We've got a link in the description to Apple's instructions for the process but also we've got a link to our own video covering resetting the SMC for a variety of different issues and we urge you obviously to go and have a look at that. The following attempts at getting back online will all require you to begin with your Mac's network settings. To get there Click on System Preferences from the dock or click it with the top left Apple Logos drop down menu. Click Network from the newly opened window and there you are. Reconfigure the DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name Server which essentially changes web addresses that we are able to read i.e. www.google.com to IP addresses that the server can understand. This acts as a kind of phone book of sorts of the internet. Sometimes your service provider's given DNS will not work properly, in which case you can use safe and free public DNS options like, for example, Google's. If you want to set this, simply click Advanced, select DNS from the network settings, click the plus icon, type 8.8.8.8, or 8.8.4.4 into the box and press enter. These are Google's DNS options. Click OK. 
Now try and surf the web. If that works, you're good to go. Adjust the packet size. Are some pages loading just fine and others failing completely? This could have to do with the amount of packets that are able to be transmitted. In layman's terms, this is the amount of data able to be transmitted over the network. We can adjust the value so that certain sites are able to load. Click Advanced. Start by selecting Hardware in Network Settings. Change the Configure setting from Automatic to Manually. Change MTU from Standard 1500 to Custom. Add the value 14. 53 into the box and press enter and then click OK. Now try surfing the web again and see if this was able to resolve the issue. Change location and renew DHCP lease. Sometimes the automatic location determined by your Mac or MacBook Pro will not get settings 100% correct, in which case we can set up a custom location and settings that go along with it. This is where we can also renew a DHCP lease and IP address. DHCP is a protocol for arranging IP addresses and changing that can make sure traffic is being directed accordingly. Now after all that tech jargon, here is how to do it. Again, in Network Settings, click Edit Locations from the drop-down menu where Automatic is currently selected. Click the plus icon and name this new location. You can name it literally anything you would like. The name itself does not affect anything, so, you know, have a bit of fun. Press enter and click done. You will now notice that no IP address appears under Wi-Fi on the left menu bar. Click advanced, then TCP IP from the menu bar. Click renew DHCP lease and a new IP address will be assigned. Click OK and then try and surf the web. Hopefully one of these steps was able to get you online. If not, drop a comment below and let us know and we'll see if we can straighten it out for you. We're not miracle workers, but we'll do our best. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.